Hello, today we are going to talk about ratios. A ratio is a way of comparing two numbers. We're going to talk about the different types of ratios as well as the different ways of writing them. We're also going to discuss equivalent ratios. So let's go ahead and get started. First, the different types of ratios. There's actually three types of ratios. Part to whole, whole to part, and finally part to part. We're going to use this example to demonstrate all three types. First, a part to whole. That is when you compare the part of the sample to the entire sample. So I'm going to compare the red circles, which is three, to the entire amount of circles, which is seven. Since there are a total of seven circles, seven would be the denominator, and the part that we're looking at is the red for three. Next, um, we have whole to part. Uh, in order to compare whole to part, whole to part, and again we're focusing on the red circles, would be one way of writing this ratio. Finally, part to part. That is when you are comparing different parts of the sample. In this case, I'm comparing the reds, which is three, to the blues, which is four. Now there's also words that you could use to represent um, some of these different types of ratios. For example, number one, a part to whole. We were doing red out of the total. So you could simply write the three red out of the total amount of circles, which is seven. Same down here, when we're comparing a part to another part, we can compare three reds to the four blues. Finally, I want to talk about equivalent ratios. Um, best way is with an example, I believe. So I'm going to first create a ratio, a part to whole ratio, using this picture of orange squares and purple squares. So the part I want to focus on is the purple. We have four purple out of the total, the whole amount of squares, 10. So let's say, for example, instead of 10 total squares, I actually had 20. So that means that this 10 amount of squares has doubled. So that means the purple has doubled, as well as the orange has also doubled. Okay, straighten that up a little bit. All right, so now what we have done is doubled or increased both the numerator and the denominator. So now instead of having four purples, we now have a total of eight. And instead of having 10 squares total, we now have 20. So as you can see, the ratio of four tenths and eight twentieths are what we call equivalent. We're still showing the same um, relationship between purple squares and the total amount of squares. Here's another example. The SPCA must keep a two to five ratio of cats and dogs. If they have 12 cats, how many dogs should they have? Well, what we have is the ratio of two cats for every five dogs. But what we're giving is what if there's 12 cats? How many dogs will we have then? If you look at the first ratio written like a fraction, we are comparing it to another ratio that will also be written like a fraction, but the numerators increased by multiplying by six. It was a two, and then we multiply by six to get 12. And since we multiply the numerator by six, you also multiply the denominator by six to see that there must be a total of 30 dogs in order to keep the ratio of two to five.